Hey everyone, it's Gamer Studios here, and guys, welcome back to another video. Now, in th this video, I wanted to go over another Star Wars topic, which is the rumored sequel series to Star Wars Rebels. Now, there has been rumors and speculation and leaks going around, like tons of them, um, since um, the ending of Season 1 of The Mandalorian and the release of The Rise of Skywalker. There's been tons of information about this show and plot leaks and what characters we would see and when will the show um, debut or if it will be on television or Disney Plus. There's a lot of interesting information that I have heard and I wanted to cover it because I'm actually kind of intrigued with this but I also do have a few tiny bit of concerns. So a lot of the reliable sources that I've actually looked into now, there's one source that has said that the main stars of the show will be Sabine and Ahsoka Tano as the main, like, characters within the show and will release in November of 2020 and will be on Disney+. Plus. But there hasn't been any word about Ezra and Thrawn yet, and Dave Filoni is on board with a sequel series to Rebels. But I've also heard another rumor saying that Ezra and Thrawn... And will be on Ezra and Thrawn, and will be on Thrawn's main planet, um, and we'll actually get to see the Chiss Empire, which is really cool. But also at this, um, also within this rumor that I've heard, is that they are actually under a war at this time, and they are fighting. Now this isn't confirmed. The Yuzon Vong, which is pretty interesting how they're adapting it. Oh no, they're kind of like they're like their legs are now into Legends material. Like they take a lot of inspiration, but it, um, if you looked at Palpatine, he is a clone, which was from Legends and the Dark Empire novel series. And with the Thrawn Legends um, novel series, and Thrawn actually went up against the Yuzon Vong in, in that series. Uh, in that novel series so it seems like they're actually trying to put a few things from legends into canon and with introducing the use on vaughn now oh josh over at the den of nerds has said that his sources and he's actually contacted his sources and they have said that all these leaks and rumors are true and that there will be a series based off of the follow-up animated series Star Wars Rebels, and even someone who worked under Lucasfilm has even said that he has heard from people in Lucasfilm and has had other sources say that there will be a follow-up series to Star Wars Rebels. Now, honestly, this does seem pretty intriguing. Now, also the fact is that there are many things that they can um, bring into, and honestly, I don't think this would be an actual sequel series to Rebels if they don't introduce characters such as Harris and Dula and Jason Sadula uh, and characters like Zeb and Callus and um, Rex and I there couldn't be some other characters that they could introduce such as Luke Skywalker at this time because also Luke and Ezra are pretty much at the same age and I've and it seems pretty interesting to see, um, would be pretty interesting to see Luke Skywalker again um, in an animated TV seri oh no, um, series. Now, there is one rumor that I've heard that Re Ezra Bridger will be not the same person that we saw from the ending of Rebels. He, um, now he is still a Jedi, but he is not like 100% a Jedi and has... Um, admired um thrawn because he's hanged out with him so much but also the fact is that he is a little bit more darker than what he was um in rebels and i've also heard that this series animation will be exactly the same as clone wars season 7 which honestly sounds really cool like the animation for rebels wasn't that bad obviously it was a huge downgrade um, from what we saw in Clone Wars um, within the later seasons, but the fact that this show will have the animation of season seven of the Clone Wars just sounds so cool. And I actually just got to finish the Bad Batch arc, and honestly, this is pretty exciting news. Now, the one main concern I have 
about this show is the release date of the show being fall of November 2020 in the fall of this year. Now, if you for some reason been living under a rock, the coronavirus is currently out at this moment. So it does seem kind of hard to believe that this show would be coming out in November unless during last year they've been working on this. But that also kind of seems not likely after her resistance and oh no, the Star Wars Resistance season two ending and Clone Wars being worked on and season one in and season two um of the Mandalorian being worked on in last year. Honestly it seems highly like doubtly that this show will come in the fall of this year. Now we could end up seeing it within next year during the spring, which would be highly likely, and maybe within the fall of that year. But I've also heard that we will now. Don't now do take this all with a grain of salt. But I've also heard that we would be getting some information about more information about the show within the coming months. Now, the closest time frame that I've heard is in May of this year. Now, hopefully, we get something. Um, interesting in May. Now, that is pretty much it. Honestly, I am intrigued with the idea of this, and I kind of hope this does come to fruition. It would be really cool to get to see um, Thrawn's people and the use on Vaughn, Ezra, Ahsoka, Sabine. Like, it would be really cool about, um, like, to see all these characters return. Now, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Now, do keep in mind that these are all are rumors and nothing has been confirmed whatsoever. And I just wanted to cover over it and cover this because it was pretty interesting to talk about. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time. Ace Gamer out.